Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Are you ready for your weekend? I am ready to roll on my weekend. Today, we're just going to finish up doing a quick hot spot fire drill in the living room, and then the zone missions are done. If you've never done a hot spot fire drill, it's easy. You just go into your living room and you start dealing with any clutter that's left after you've been doing your missions all week. These little piles of clutter pop up all the time. So you may have decluttered an area and clutter's already found its way back. That's why we call it a hot spot. If you've got a side table beside your favorite chair, coffee table, sometimes even the furniture itself becomes clutter magnets. People walk by it and drop things. So today, go into the living room with fresh eyes. Take a look around and then hit those little clutter spots. If you're not really seeing anything, turn your phone on, get out that camera, and take a couple pictures. You will find some clutter hot spots that way. Sometimes you just get accustomed to that stuff that's sitting around. And you don't really see it when you walk into the room because you've just looked at it for so long, it doesn't even penetrate consciousness. But, if you go in there and take a picture, you're going to see some clutter. Good morning, Sylvette. Great to see you this morning. It's beautiful and sunny in North Carolina. Done my morning routine. Got laundry going. And this morning for home blessings, the boys and I are going to finish up and do floors and take out the trash. Then they'll haul it off later today. So, we've got a system in place for our Friday. The other thing I'm going to work on, I've got my little paper handy, menu planning, it's Friday. So I'm going to take a look at next week's schedule. What do I have going on next week? What days do I need easy meals? What day can I do a more complicated meal? What are we going to eat this weekend? I'm going to sit down, get that menu plan knocked out. It takes me about five minutes. I'll ask the boys and my husband what they want to eat next week and we'll make a plan need to decide if we're going to do a cookout on Labor Day because if we're going to do that I need to get the things for that. I don't like waiting till the day of something and making a plan especially for something like that. Since it takes me a while to grocery shop on Fridays I usually pick up something that's already pre-cooked or I'll pick up some takeout. So I don't always plan my Friday because I know while I'm out I'm going to pick up something rotisserie chicken, fried chicken, sometimes I'll pick up burgers and fries for the boys. I get my um, spinach and my chicken that I eat and I have that and I'm not completely plant-based like I was in the spring but I'm not eating a whole lot of meats, very little red meats and I'm eating chicken several times a week mainly for muscle building because I'm back to marathon training. I've got marathon number seven coming up in November so training plan is including more miles, I'm using more energy, so I need to make sure I'm getting enough protein. So added back the meat just a little bit and feel great enjoying the weather even though it's hot and humid and just getting out there each morning and getting in that morning exercise as the sun comes up. So let's see what else have I looked at for next week. I'm also looking at our school plan for next week. This is ending up our fifth week, so I've taken a look at the boys' work for the week. I know where they're at, so I need to take a look and figure out next week and what our goals are, because we're only going to have school four days next week. We've got Labor Day Monday, so they'll have a holiday. So I need to adjust the amount of work that I expect them to do next week. And that's part of what I do on Fridays with my planning. If you struggle with your homeschool plans and how to get in lesson planning and reviewing work, put it on the last day of the week if you want to. It works well for me on Friday, might work well for you on Sunday evening. My only thing with Sunday evening is I'm usually kind of tired and just want to relax and don't want to do much. So I try to get it taken care of on the front end of the weekend rather than at the end of the weekend. And um, next week we're gonna move back to zone one. So that's your front porch. Your, din your dining room in your entryway. If you are having a problem with the front porch, because I know it's been hot and you've not really wanted to get out there, make sure that you hit that at the first of the week because that's what people see first thing. If you've got little kids, they like to leave stuff on the porch. If you've got pets, well, you know what pets can do. So take a look at that front porch when you leave the house this weekend and then look at it as you come back in. 
what do you need to do? Make you a little list so when we hit those missions next week, you're ready to roll. You know what you want to do. Look in that entryway. Is it time to start going through shoes and coats? Is it cooling off? There are things that you can do to get yourself ready to roll on the weekend and be ready for those zone missions next week. So, front porch, entryway, dining room next week. Take a look at those areas. Write down something on your calendar that you want to work on. If you use my planner, write it down in that. That's why I developed it to have open places for you. And if you're not using my planner, that's where my menu plan sheet came from and I've got it right here. Each day I have it laid out.